my job. I'm working at SF Raceworks now. <laughs> You just saw the intro to the video. Welcome back to another vlog. We'll get back to this cage in a little bit, but check out that TIG weld right there. Very nice. We're at SF Raceworks picking up a cage for a customer of mine or a friend. And uh, we're gonna show you guys a little bit around the shop. We'll show you guys what they got around here, what they've been building. Nice machines. And just uh, see what's going on. Da -da 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 -da. That's sick right there. Looking good, looking good. So I want to show you guys this machine because this one, very dialed, very freaking race, race inspired. We got Dean in the house. Are you working hard over there or are you hardly working? Work. Just bullshitting, that's what it looks like. <laughs> uh, this cage here, this is their two seat race inspired cage with window nets, eight pillar plus bar. You got a windshield, got the old uh, adventure rack up top for storage. This is your spare tire carrier, Dean? A uh, Cognito spare tire carrier with a geyser um, storage in the back. It's a nice machine. Overall, the whole thing on this one is the actual cage, right? You want something safe, you want something strong, and this is probably one of the strongest cages. They put a lot of gusseting in their uh, in their cages. And one of the biggest things that they're known for, on the B-pillar, you can see how it's a boxed and internally gusseted piece here. You can see here the welds. And that's what we're doing on that 4C right over there. And I'll show you guys more since that one's raw. And then the windshield, very clean windshield, clean lines. One thing they like to do is put on bolt on brackets. So if you want to change your light bar in the future, maybe you're tired of the 40 inch or maybe it stops working and you end up going with a bigger light, you can always swap these brackets out. Just give them a call and you get brackets for your machine. So it's really nice that they do that. Window nets are a big, big, big deal when it comes to safety. And they are shock assisted window nets. So they're really nice. I really like how this is designed. And they do kind of do them a little bit higher than uh, level with the roof. So hopefully you don't hit your head. That's pretty cool. Uh, this machine is actually sitting on some, some stands here, but it is, you know, even with the, without the stands, I probably wouldn't hit my head. So pretty cool. They don't have a ton of machines currently in the shop with cages on them. They're building them for these machines right here. But I do want to show you Oscar's. Oscar, AKA Choco, he has a four seat with the Razor Pro R cage. And what's really nice about that cage is they actually use two inch tubing for the frame where everybody else is using one and three quarters. For the Can-Ams, they're using one and three quarters. But for the Pro Rs, they are using two inch. Turbo Rs as well, so. And here's another X3. This one's very similar to one that I built quite some time ago. This is their four seat for the X3. This one is also option for window nets. Now remember when you're ordering a cage like this? Order it for me, but Pre-plan it. If you're gonna do window nets, make sure you do it at the time of ordering your cage because they can't weld on these tabs after the fact unless you're gonna repowder coat the cage all over again. So make sure when you order your machine, you order it with window nets because not only that, you got the A plus bar that they add, they proportion it to the machines. For example, um, for window nets, you gotta actually bring the machine because depending on your doors, they line up the lines to the uh, doors so there's no gaps or anything like that so really clean this one's a, a really beautiful um cherry wine red um and actually mean machine maybe getting a color very similar it's a secret all right let's check out this cage this one is gonna be a really nice bronze same bronze that are on these fuel wheels which we have on the website by the way so you get all these products from me email me of course it's in the description. Uh, I want to show you guys this cage. A lot of manufacturers basically have two options when it comes to cages, including SF, including some of the other manufacturers we've showed you. There's always an option for TIG weld. Most cages are MIG and there's nothing wrong with MIG. Um, TIG is a little bit more time consuming, usually a cleaner weld. And I want to show you guys the difference. Here is some TIG welding dropping dimes and then right above here is the MIG welding. So um, all the box portions, they do TIG on. They form those, create those, and then obviously everything's put together on a jig and then MIG welded. So if you wanted everything TIG welded, you can do that as an option. It's not really necessary, I don't think. 
Uh, this cage, one of the things I do like about it as well is the way they do the rollover in the front. So this one doesn't have a crazy visibility like some of the other cages. It doesn't have that giant forehead where you can see out of a lot. But the rollover is one of the best looks in my opinion because if you do the roofs where the the roof line ends like right where the tube is at, it kind of makes it look like you have a big forehead. You better hide that big ass forehead on your machine. So it's the best of both worlds trying to fight you know the looks versus the visibility uh let me know what you guys prefer i prefer being able to see out of the machine but also having some sort of rollover right so so this is a nice cage with a balance of both worlds once this is assembled i'll show you guys the bumper and spare tire carrier all in one uh it's actually a really good setup and carry your extra spare with you so that's important all right we're gonna head out of here we're gonna go to pacific finish drop off this uh cage and then we'll show you oscar's uh four seat pro r what are you doing? We're at Pacific Finish. Let's check out what they got going on. Oh, we got some gold. Some gloss black, some red. Those are mine. And some really nice blue. DRT parts. Let's drop this cage off. Gotta get going. All right, it's a little windy. Sun's out. Excuse the shade, but uh, this is the SF Raceworks pro r cage a lot of guys have asked about this cage while we were out in glamis and the glamis videos uh everyone was curious because one of the main attractions of course is the window nets like we covered in the other um other cages that we showed you at the sf race workshop and this is one of the best cages in my opinion for many reasons besides the window nets but actual strength of this cage i want to show you the ridiculous strength that this cage offers so for starters, yes, it does have window nets, just like we showed you on the other one. Great window nets. They make some of the nicest window nets out there. They uh, conform to the cage, as you can see here. And then even the back here has the same indentation. See that? Has that same kind of flow to the cage. So very nice. Window nets are A plus when it comes to these guys. But the main thing I want to show you guys is this crazy box C pillar that is humongous. I mean, it is a girthy girl. Um, so don't expect to ever see this, you know, fold over, right? It is extremely strong. Not only do they have this big giant box portion here, but the intrusion bars tie to the bottom where it mounts to the chassis. And then you can see how they did not one, but a second tube in the back. It is overkill. Honestly, it is super strong. If you want a desert cage, Something extremely strong, then SF Raceworks is probably gonna be your, your way to go. Um, super strong there. And then here at the B pillar, you can even see how they do a little mini gusset here um, at the top. Your standard spine down the middle and then a bar going across. And then in the front here, also very beefy. So more gusseting here on this corner. You got your pretty standard intrusion bars, standard across the industry. And then this, because it has the window nets, you get the A plus bar. Now some guys will cry and complain and why is it that it doesn't go all the way to the, to the bottom. It's not a real or actual A plus bar, but it does add to the strength of this bar not bending. It is, it is stronger. Is it as strong as a real A plus bar? No. But do you want something like that? They can make it. They do race chassis, they do all sorts of stuff at SF Raceworks. So I want to make sure you guys know that. So this one, uh, this machine belongs to my buddy Oscar. Uh, not too much going on with it besides some wiring that I got going on. I'm tripping on the goddamn wire. I'm doing some wiring. Uh, I just wired up some XL80s, some more XL80s in amber down here. Uh, SF Raceworks bumper and uh, grill. This has their windshield, which if you know the Razors, they are pretty narrow. Uh, but as you can tell, it does kind of come out more with the uh, with the nets and the A plus bar. So this is on a motor armor door, I believe. Um, not a bad door. I like how it looks, mainly because there is no fasteners on the outside. All you see is these little these little dimples, but those can easily be hidden with a wrap. And I believe they make bags for these, but um, Oscar doesn't have them. They close pretty good. So no complaints there. So motor armor doors. Um, if you guys want to order a cage like this, make sure to hit me up at info at glifeutv.com. And I think that'll be it for this video. Oh, actually, no. I want to show you this because I just installed this about 20 minutes ago. And it looks epic. Check that out. This mount is made by MTS Off-Road. And we have a Switch Pros mounted to the steering wheel. What? Say what? 
and it looks sick it looks so awesome so i really like how that turned out we use a spiral cable here i still gotta wire it up still gotta mount the switch pro still gotta run wiring for the rest of accessories anyways that's it for this video thank you guys for watching big shout out to my patreon members and youtube join members uh we'll see you guys in the next video hit up glifeutv.com for parts stay dirty clothing for your uh clothing needs see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>